Hey guys, welcome back. Um, it's been a long time since we've done a renovation video and that's because lots of other things happened instead of prioritizing the renovations. Um, but my mom agreed to watch all four children for the afternoon. So Josh and I need to get a move on and uh, we are going to see how many windows we can strip before five o'clock and it's 12 30. so we're running upstairs and we're gonna get the blinds off the boys bedroom we have how many left okay let's just go over it that's the first window we did and it has not changed since the day we walked away from it in that video. <clears throat> then we have this window to do. Um, and just because it's on the stairs, it's kind of difficult. The children have destroyed the upstairs. And I don't know why. Anyways, um, then I did this window in here with the heat gun. Um, and I kept meaning to do a video showing me the heat gun, but honestly, like, and I don't even burn the windowsills or anything like that, but just like, I don't know how sensitive our smoke alarms are, but it's insane. Like there's no smoke. You can't smell anything. And the fire alarms are going off. Uh, so I just, uh, I don't know. I never made a video about it, but that window's done. And that was the second one I did with a heat gun. Then... I did, no, I did these. So here's the thing. When I came in here to do the bathroom windows, cause there's two, there's this one and one over there. Uh, I found out that one of the previous owners put this trim on and it's not wood. It's like that particle board stuff. So when I went to start doing the heat gun and getting it off, it was like brown. And I'm like, it's not coming off. What is this? So finally we stuck like a screwdriver in and like, went in to see what uh, material it was and uh, that's not wood so all I had to do for the bathroom was this base here and then we're going to change all of that and even under here to try to better match um, what is in the house already because I'd like it to be uniform um, and then yeah there's this window so again I only had to do that so honestly like I'm okay with that it being like with it being particle board just makes it easier to strip the paint off. And then we have our grow room. And so this was one of the last windows I completed um, not that long ago, honestly. I think it was like the end of last year. Maybe it was the start of this year, 2022. I don't really remember. But it's been long enough that I haven't done any paint stripping because then it went from paint stripping to just taking a break, a little break over the winter. Uh, and then it went straight into plants. Um, so, and yeah, as you can see, our strawberries and stuff are growing nicely. They kind of popped up when I stopped putting the light on and they had to force themselves to find light. Then, last but not least, we have my and Josh's bedroom. And um, I started stripping that with the heat gun. As you can see, it's right here. And then I just crapped out. So we are going to take the blinds off of, well, that one's done. So, I mean, Josh could actually start on that, but we need to get some crappy clothes on. And then <laughs> Josh's mountain of clothes. Anyway, we need to get these blinds off. We need to get the kids' blinds off. We need to kind of move some stuff into their room. Um, and then all the windows are kind of ready to go and we can just start, we can start stripping. So, uh, anyway, stay tuned.
Alright guys, I want to show you one thing, that dark stuff right there is actually silver, so I don't know if somebody like painted the trim silver or what, um, we're starting to think of that it might be lead paint, and it's the lead just coming out of the paint and sticking to the wood, we're not sure, um, but you never know, this was like a kid's room, so it could have been painted silver. Uh, but that's kind of what's left on the trim. Josh is just washing it with the mineral spirits to stop the stripper from being active, I guess, is what you could say. It's basically just giving it a wash. Yeah. So he's gonna do that. My skin's burning in area, so I'm gonna jump in the shower before we go pick up the kids just to wash it off. Um, but yeah, so we basically got this done. Anything that's left, I'm going to sand. Uh, but I think we did a darn good job. I think so too. So, anyway, so anything that's left, I'll just sand off. Um, we have half a window in our room to finish. We basically finished that window. And then 
we, I would say like 90% of the way finished that window. So there's still some white spots that if we had some more time, um, I would have done, like what we did in that room was we coated it then we took as much as we could off and then Josh coated it again in the stripper and that's why most of that's off. Um, so if we had more time, we'd do the same with that because that would take care of basically, n again, 90% of what's left. So that's pretty much 90% done. And then we, if we had more time, we could do 90% more of that. Um, but so that'll just be another day. And then while I was waiting for the stripper to activate and stuff like that, um, I almost finished that panel right there. Um, but so we just have kind of like one little section on each side and that one panel will be done and then the window is basically half done. Um, so yeah, I mean, we we're pretty, we got a lot done today, I think. And I'm not sure when we'll be able to finish, but I Soon. think, <laughs> yeah. We're close enough that we can probably get the windows in like relatively shortly. Yeah. So I'll finish that one window with the heat gun and then essentially the last window that needs to get done is right there. So Josh has a little plan for that because it is on the stairs, kind of an awkward spot, but the rest is just going to be sanding and touch up. And then once the windows go in, then we'll stain the trim to match the windows and then put like the sealant varnish stuff on it or whatever to make it look pretty so we'll protect it the, i think the stain makes it look pretty but yeah so anyways um you have anything you want to say nope <laughs> anyway so i hope you guys uh enjoy watching us work um that's uh we used circuit 1850 paint stripper and then it's just mineral spirits to basically wash the wood. And then, um, yeah, honestly, I said it in the other room, the best technique I think going right now for us with stripping the paint and then eventually if we get to stripping the trim and all that, uh, depending on long, how long we stay in this house. Um, and so this is also for our future reference, uh, put the stripper all over the entire window and just what did you do like three coats around kind of thing or two coats around each time so what i did was i gooped it and then i let it i started from the top and then let it drip so you slathered it on i slathered it <laughs> and then what i did was i just let it drip down so that it coated the whole thing and, and I just kept, and uh, from the bottom, I just kept it, kept wiping it so it wasn't dripping until the whole thing was even. And then I did the same thing on the sides. So basically big, big, big slather it on, let it get into all the nooks and crannies. Um, and then basically by the time he was done going around the window and then we wait about 10, 15 minutes and that's when it was super bubbly and we were able to kind of attack it. Um, and then for the heat gun, with that, it's just taught, you, you have to wait for the gun to really heat up a lot. Uh, and then you can really kind of get into a groove going once it's heated up very well. Um, and then you kind of got to play with how far and how close you are to the wood. Um, like once you go to a new area, you get a bit closer Then once that area really starts to heat up, then you can kind of pull away and, uh, I started noticing a lot of the varnish smoking, so I think there was a few areas that I got the the wood a little bit, but I mean, it was a, it was a great uh, efficiency wise. It was great to be able to go over, continue stripping the other window with the heat gun while we were waiting for the paint stripper to activate. So uh, basically, today we got two windows pretty much done and then just the half of the other window. Um, if there's any little things like Josh is playing with right now, he's playing with a little nook in there that has some white paint, but I can come by after this is done and washed and whatnot, and I can grab the heat gun and just kind of get, because the heat gun's really great for those little grooves to just heat up the varnish and then the paint just falls off. So 
Um, I'm, I'm calling it varnish. I don't know. Maybe back in the day, the paint was stickier or something and had like a layer in there. I have no idea. But no, they were varnished before. Yeah, so whatever the layer is in between the paint and the window, as soon as you put the heat gun on it, it heats up and the paint can just like basically just falls off sometimes, which is great. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed and uh, hopefully we can get these windows in when the... Uh, the new windows are in and hopefully we can get the rest of the trim finished up so we can get the windows in stained up and looking pretty so have a good day guys